Okay, I'm sitting in the uh, uh, in the middle of a bed of mimulus. This is mimulus orontiacus. Now this is a cultivar called brick, and it's actually quite a bit mixed in the garden. They've been mixing for a number of years, so it probably isn't even a true cultivar brick anymore. But it's really quite beautiful. On this side, we have a true California native. And this one is Mumulus punaceus from San Diego County, which actually thrives here at our botanical garden in San Luis Obispo County. It's obviously well adapted to a number of conditions, but look at the beautiful color on this one. One of my favorites, one of the smaller Mumulus, but again, it's adapted very well to our clay soils and it's adapted very well to our climate here. So it's turned out to be a very good garden plant. This year, I'm not sure why, but the mimulus have done exceptionally well. Perhaps the rain have come at just the right time for the mimulus, but I have never seen such a vibrant group of mimulus as we have in the garden this year. So take a look around. Uh, this one over here, our orange color, that one a little bit closer to the true brick color. And this one here with this really beautiful maroon. So, and there are many, many other cultivars that can be had here at the Botanical Garden. We mostly work with our Antiochus and Punaceus, and it's many cultivars. So, uh, go ahead, plant these in your garden. In the fall, you're going to have to cut them back by about half to two thirds, but then in the spring, they'll come back again just with a multitude of flowers and colors.